sometimes you get home from work and you just want to sit down and play a game of league you just want to have some fun put your feet up after eight hours of work and just have a good time but sometimes it doesn't always go that way i'm gonna go over the five things that i hate the most when trying to relax and play a game of league now with this pick i'm gonna bring up mismatched games usually this won't happen as much if you're playing ranked but i'm just trying to get in a nice game after work so i'm just gonna be doing casual man let one of my previous videos explain what i mean Wait, what the fuck? This guy's challenger. I'm fucking silver one. What the fuck? I can't even count how many times I've been matched against master plus players, or maybe even another lane is matched up against them. Now, I'm unranked, and I was only plat last season. Like, what? Now, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say this. I really don't care as much if they're in my lane, because, you know, I'm just gonna try hard now, because I'm going to bring them down. But when I get to see them absolutely pub stomping a solo lane, knowing that this game is most likely gonna end in an FF, just seems to be a little bit demoralizing. And I know why it happens, but I think Riot should be able to fix this. Now, next one is still a bit frustrating, but it's also just a part of the game. And I'm talking about losing streaks. Now, mismatched games can cause losing streaks, but there's something just more frustrating when you're just trying to have some fun and you end up going on a losing streak. And man, you just really want that win. I mean, like just one. I just want one win, but it just doesn't happen. And then you eventually stop playing and you just really feel disappointed in your whole gaming session. Now, many things can add to this, like just having someone absolutely running it down, having some feeding teammates or just kind of just not generally doing well however there are some close fought games and that's why i'm only putting it number four losing strengths aren't fun but personally i can have fun in a losing game but whenever i go on a losing streak i really just want to end with a win but even if you do get that win you just can't end that hot streak baby right but no 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 no. i i gotta go to bed i have work tomorrow now to be perfectly honest the last two are actually pretty minor in my eyes things that can work out you can come back tomorrow get a win or just overcome a high rank player and obviously that feels so f good. However, number three really puts a sour on my mood when I'm playing, and that is extreme toxicity. Whoa, what? Extreme toxic players in me? What do you mean? Now, as a previous Xbox Live Call of Duty player, I feel like my tolerance for this was very high, but it has definitely gone down as I have gotten older. I was never really a toxic player, but even with the COD running through my veins, my ability to even see it without being physically disgusted is a lot lower. Now, I truly believe that Riot has some split in the community, and if you're nice to people in games, you get a lot less toxic players. I rarely see toxic players in my games almost ever, even when I do things like this. So yeah, sometimes I might deserve it, but for some reason, I can do stuff like that, nothing. But then sometimes my friends play a game and they get the most toxic players on the planet. And I see end of game chats like this. And this really ruins my mood. And if you are someone that does this, I hate it. Now this isn't higher on my list because you can mute those players, but it's not lower because intentionally sabotaging your games by running it down is still toxic. Now number two is gonna sound weird because it's this high on the list, but stick with me. We get home, we have like two hours to play. We have, we have limited time and I just wanna play some games and for everything up until now i'm at least playing league but number two i have long queue time and i'm gonna call this the quick play phenomenon i used to play blind fake because i just want to get into a game within like 30 seconds and it would do that almost every time but since quick play started i have routinely had 10 to 20 minute queues listen ryan i only have like two hours a day at most to play games and ain't nobody got time for this horrible change but that's also due to my number one pick bring back blind pick please riot please now i generally do off meta stuff but if you're liking this type of video feel free to like and subscribe and i can make more like it and let me know in the comments below what you hate the most now number one we have q dodges and afks now i just want to play a game regardless of what happens i like playing blind pick because you didn't have to do draft i hate draft specifically because of dodgers for some reason there is nothing i hate more than spending three to four minutes in queue five to six minutes in draft you draft you ban you pick then someone leaves at the last second and you have to do it all over again and then you know you, after you do it all over again someone afks and then you have to remake i just hate it so much you're just you've already spent 30 minutes just trying to play i just mm, I just want to play a game man just let me play the game and sometimes it's so bad that you can't play a normal game at all and then you have to like go and play an aram and there's nothing wrong with aram i just didn't want to play an aram bro i'd rather wait in the queue for 10 minutes because at least after that's done i know i'd actually be in the game and this is one of the things that stops you from playing playing the game at all and it's something that you just don't have any control over and that's why it's the number one thing that I hate when trying to just queue up for a game after work. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're liking these lists and I hope your next game of league
League is not cursed with anything from this list above. And hey, if you want to make the enemy AFK, check out this video because we're going to have some fun. Talk to you later!